Well, and so it begins. Folsom is planning to increase the sales tax by 1%. It's a controversial campaign that started today. ABC 10's Devin Truby is speaking to people on both sides. They're going to sign. The citizen sales tax campaign kicked off Wednesday to collect 7,000 signatures for the 1% sales tax increase to make the 2024 ballot. There's a sales tax paid on those online transactions, but we don't get our full share back. It goes into a county pool and we get a, a different percentage back that's much, much less. But our measure will change that. The 1% would stay in Folsom, whether it's a brick and mortar sale or an online sale. The group named Folsom Residents of Public Safety and Quality of Life estimates raising the 1% sales tax could bring in $29 million a year. A nine-member oversight committee would then decide how the money is used. Because our public safety services uh, need additional sources of revenue to deliver the, the safety that we need. Here's how it impacts you. Say you want to buy some sweet treats and it's $10. Right now, shoppers would pay 77 cents in taxes. With the new tax, residents would pay 87 cents. The opposition with Howard Jarvis Taxpayer Association says this is not even proposed by city council, but a small group of residents. So is it what the people want? California, we have the highest state sales tax rate in America, 7.25% even before the local add-ons and of course the highest gas tax in the nation. The campaign counters with Folsom has some of the lowest sales tax in the region at 7.75 tied with Citrus Heights and cities can impose a tax through Proposition 13. Copel says it's being misused. We're seeing a number of local governments who are proposing these so-called citizens initiatives in, a, uh, in an attempt to avoid Proposition 13's two-thirds vote requirement. The Taxpayer Association says cities need to learn how to spend within the means of their budget. The group is hoping to get the sales tax increase on the November ballot. Now keep in mind, the Taxpayer Association will also have its own Taxpayer Protection Act on the same ballot in 2024.